question that comes up all the time, something I hear all the time, is the fear of learning the wrong or outdated programming language in 2023. This will extend, of course, into 2024. That fear is it's not founded in anything in uh, close to reality. I wouldn't be too concerned about it. Pick any of the top 20 languages today and you'll be fine. I tweeted about this recently, so I, uh, I wrote, The fear of learning a useless programming language is not, a rash, is not rational in 2023. There are no outdated programming languages in 2023 in the top 20 or more. And the reason that there's no outdated programming languages in 2023 is that all of the top languages share many of the same principles and concepts. So... I don't know, let's say you learn uh, Java, functions, object orientation, they apply to just about all the other languages. So for you to pivot from Java to C Sharp, to TypeScript, to Python, to PHP, to JavaScript, it's going to be trivial. It's looking at like a couple of days. So this whole notion that you might learn the wrong programming language is, is, is false. So I wouldn't be too concerned. You find within the top 20 programming languages or more, that you find that they're all used commercially somewhere. So the key to all of this is that you figure out in your part of the world if a particular language is popular or not, or wherever you want to work in the world, whether that language is popular or not. As I mentioned in several videos, you depending on where you go in the world, different languages will be popular. So again, just pick a language that's uh, attractive to you. I would pick a simple language like a JavaScript or a Python or even a PHP, and then from there you can decide what you're going to go, what you're going to do, what you're going to specialize in. Now, I'm not talking about some of the ancient languages like Smalltalk or COBOL, although there are probably jobs in those as well. Uh, I'm talking about you know the top 20 that are used today. If you want to get into the AI space, you're probably best with Python or JavaScript. If you want to become a freelancer, it's all web, so it's PHP for the back end, JavaScript perhaps as well. Of course, you can't forget the uh, HTML and CSS. These are not programming languages, but they're coding languages. So the broader message here, don't be paralyzed by fear and analysis that you're going to pick the wrong language, like you're going to go down this path that is irretrievable. Uh, will you be lost? And Oh, no, I picked the wrong language. Now I've wasted all that time. You can't waste time learning a programming language, even a language you would never end up using. I've learned programming languages that I used just once on a project. And having learned those languages and used them in production code, it gave me insight into development. So for example, let's say you decide to learn programming with JavaScript first, and then you decide to pivot to Python for whatever reasons. You're going to see how Python does the same things that you saw in JavaScript, but in a different way. So if you're new to programming, every language has, a vari has variables. Every language has something called an array or collections. And you see that the way Python expresses or delivers collections to you is different from JavaScript in certain respects, but they also are very similar. You can see how each of these languages manage these special type of variables. Uh, J Python has something called a tuple, which is kind of unique. It's a, it's in a, it's a data type. Uh, which is kind of interesting that you don't see in PHP, for example, so on and so forth. So when you learn language A and then you pivot to B or C, when you go from JavaScript to Python, then you jump over to C Sharp, and maybe you learn TypeScript, all these things will contribute to your understanding of programming languages. I really started getting good at programming. I say when I was was on my third language. The first programming language I learned was Perl. Then I learned, uh, what else did I learn? Yeah, then I learned JavaScript. Then I learned VB script. And then I learned um, uh, Java. I learned a lot of Java. Then it was PHP. Then it was C Sharp and so many others. So yeah, with every new language that I've learned and I put into production, the better I got as a programmer overall because I got to see similar programmatic constructs from a different point of view. So don't be afraid to jump into learning a programming language or programming. Don't be afraid that you're going to learn the wrong language. People will tell you, oh, this language is uh, crap or that is better. And it's all circumstantial. 
Um, so just pick one and go for it. Again, just because it's easy to approach, I would either go with JavaScript, Python, or PHP. And uh, even if your ultimate goal was, say, C-sharp and Java, because C-sharp and Java, they're a bit more complex in certain regards in terms of the basics. You know, uh, Java and C-sharp are um, strongly typed. So uh, you can get off the ground more quickly with Python and JavaScript. And then by learning Python and JavaScript or JavaScript, to learn Java or C-sharp will be no problemo. You'll get it done in like 5% of the time. All right, I hope that helps. Bye-bye.